This is what the white dually is about to pull. It is squat. Let's see if it does good. We love tracks pulling out. This is about the max capacity this crew cab 110 dually is rated to pull this 13 feet, six high, 50 foot double stacker trailer. <laughs> well, we made it a little while. We've been on the phone with Ron. Fan clutch is messed up, you guys remember. So we got no fan and we was driving and it got hot. The engine can handle a little bit of heat. Well, it got too much heat. You wanna see what happened? Yeah, <laughs> what a drag. It freaking broke. So all my coolant is gone. I wonder why it was so warm. We're on the freaking side of the highway here. Thank God we got the double stacker on the back. We got all kinds of stuff in there. We'll s let's hope like hell we got what we need to put that back together. I've got no coolant to put in this thing. Damn it. Damn it, damn it. So the heater control valve is broken. We got the double stacker back here hooked to us. Uh, I got one massive hill and then there's a fuel stop up there. Looking around for pliers because I can take off the heater core tube, then I can disconnect it from underneath the degas bottle. I can put a hose from the 90 degree coolant line over to the degas bottle. We got all kinds of garden hose in the back. I don't have any heater control valves in the double stacker. That sucks because this double stacker probably hauled 40 of them up to the shop. And I can't even, uh, you know what? I got took off, I took it for granted, and I, I have a screwdriver. There might be a screw clamp on both of them that I can get off of the screwdriver. And then we got a pair of scissors that we can cut a garden hose. There's an actual garden hose back there. And then we've got one gallon of coolant with us. And some emergency waters. And there's probably some still down in the block. It's raining, so I was like, well, when is it gonna quit raining? Because I don't Not wanna for a minute. fix this thing and then be all wet. And then with my luck, the skies will part and it'll turn all hot and sunny right after we get done. I'm debating on what to do. Cause I mean, we're literally stranded here right now. Yeah. I'm sure we could ask one of these kind truck drivers and they probably have a pair of pliers who'd let us borrow for five minutes. Yeah, a pair of pliers would uh, probably get us out of this jam. Yeah. Not really in that big of a hurry. Always an adventure. I don't know how many times we've been like sitting like where we're at right now <laughs> in a six liter on the interstate with a big old trailer on the back and be broke. We're broke right now. <laughs> we replace them all the time. This is why. So now when I Tell everybody, no, you get a new heater control valve. You got a coolant filter put in there, you cut the hose, I don't know, get a new one. The whole new heater control valve with the hoses and everything. It's and not raining too bad right now. Yeah, we're gonna get out. Let's see if we can make this happen. We'll show you what we come up with. You guys wanna see an underbroke repair? That's not really a repair here. The line just broke, snapped on the plastic. They get old, it happens. What we need is to close this. This is our heat. I have a zip tie. So what I'm gonna start with is taking this guy and I'm gonna kink it and I'm gonna put a zip tie around it to hold it kinked. See if I can find another zip tie and hold this kinked like that. Throw some coolant in it, let's see what happens. Wow, there's coolant everywhere, it blew everywhere, look. Oh goodness. We are making our list of things for when the discount job comes in, because this, you could have literally called this a discount job, right? We pretty much used everything there was and we're now sitting on the side of the highway because this old part right here bit us in the butt. So most of the stuff I preach on this channel is because I have been there, done that. Gotta do this, gotta do that, yes. I mean, the weirdest failures, all the failures, yeah. I've seen most of them. And we're doing it right now. Something like that right there. I would have liked to have put it further over. I might actually pop the zip tie loose and move it further from the bin. But I'm gonna do that on both of them and we're gonna throw some coolant in it. We only have one gallon. And let's go. Julie just dumped some coolant in it. I just zip tied a bend in both of the heater core lines and I think we might just go back to the shop. We're about 40 miles away from the shop. Uh, this is a sign. Put a fan clutch in it because the fan clutch ain't working and fix the heater control valve and get some freaking coolant. Tool one. I'm just putting down the side of the road. Not really working it too hard. We got about uh, three gallons of coolant in it. 201 right now. 201, so it's holding good. So I probably could accelerate and go ahead and take off, but I'm not sure if I want to yet. All I really need is a hose barb and then some coolant and we're fine. We're almost at the top of this hill. It almost looks like three gallons might be enough. 204. Oh. We made it. We're off the highway, we're all safe. It's still a little freaking, what's the temperature? 
2.13 and we're up. We made it off the road at least, we're not stranded. Where are we at? 197. 197, we're cruising along. Kind of actually acting like nothing's even happening. So it's, we're headed back to the shop. I'm gonna put a heater control valve, top that coolant back off and hopefully find a fan clutch. Ron said we can borrow his, but I really don't want to be borrowing his fan clutch. No, we're not doing that. Fighting a pretty mean headwind pretty far in the pedal quite frankly really freaking heavy now is a pretty good time where i do not like to have that screaming loud exhaust so i'm fighting a headwind just trying to keep freaking moving i got a 50 foot double stacker trailer that's 13 6 high can't even see the damn top of the damn thing torque converter unlocked right now i should have one more gear but i have no tune in this truck it's just the truck with factory tuning and <laughs> it's probably overloaded and let's see if I can get it to here on the back out of it and see if I can get torque converter lock. There it goes, okay. We're at 208 coolant. We got a little bit of success. We're obviously at the shop with the truck and the double stacker. <laughs> I didn't want to unhook it. Thank God for no bed, look at that. Drop it down, pull it in, it's all good. Kind of freaky, they're so low down. It looks like the frame's sitting on the ground. Oh, look at that. Where'd you find that at? Heater control valve. Wish I was standing here when I was on the side of the highway. All right, so let's see if my zip tie fix works. I need to rinse this off because this has now coolant residue all over it. Anything leaking out of our repair job. Looks pretty dry in there. How about this one? We just drove it, I don't know, 50 miles probably since we was standing on the side of the highway. Our repair worked. Good deal. If you all you got is a zip tie and you don't have vice grips to clamp it, just bend the hose back and zip tie it to itself. Just to get me here. Okay, so that could have at least been a somewhat repair to get you off of the road. Keep it the back of zip ties and that coolant Wi-Fi, you could just bend the hoses over and the engine will continue to run. At least you won't be broke down overheating because we made it back here without overheating. No fan clutch though. You guys are gonna have to watch the Super Duty channel because Jason's movie is about to come out. Found a fan clutch. It doesn't, look how old and nasty it looks, but it doesn't jingle. We're gonna have to put that on and see if it does work because if Ooh, it doesn't had the ship let's out hurry up and get it freaking out of here if it doesn't work let's figure it out jason opened up his tote i'm an advocate of the murray one that is a brand new oe ford fan clutch in the building pretty much on the shelf that's jason's i might need it but I, i'm gonna put this piece of crap on here first because i don't want to keep a freaking fan clutch if it's bad, so I'm willing to go ahead and put that on and get rid of it to see if it's any good. At least we know where there's a good one if we need it. It's brand new in the box. We've got so much crap up in the barn. You know, if you need an oil filter housing, there's like, I don't, I actually didn't see the box of them, but I think there's countless amounts. Like you could have housing sitting everywhere. Which one do you want? I think it'd be pretty cool if Ron picked it because, I mean, anything can be wrong with any of them. Uh, anything could be wrong with a new one. I'm going to clean it a little bit, blow it off a little bit. It's been sitting literally all right, guys, it's Anthony here, Super Service. We've got Julie's truck here, it's 07. The 692 is the RPM. 35, 40. Well, I'm not liking that. It's supposed to be 100%, that's that old fan clutch. We didn't put the new one in. Yeah, it should be double of what RPM is, almost. We should be 2,500. There it is. No, it's trying to blow. I'm blowing the funnel away. Thirteen hundred RPM. Well, I guess I'll just decide if I want to ride with that or if we want to go ahead and take it back out again right now. What would you guys do? Take it back out again right now? I mean, there's a chance this paint clutch, I mean, at least I heard it blowing. It's blowing a little bit, but it's not full lock. I think I'm gonna take the fan clutch with me and I'm gonna go on this drive and let's see what it does. Because if this fan clutch does come off, then it gets the same treatment this one did. Paint it all red and trash. 
so that means don't use it again so if i decide to go ahead and pull it oh hey let's scat this damn it we do decide to go ahead and yank it out that fan clutch will never run on another truck again so we've got 130 miles to drive it's worth going ahead and doing that let's see if it'll survive if not we'll take the other fan clutch with us we'll see how bad it is if it wouldn't have been for the heater control valve we would have made this drive without the fan clutch it just it just ran a little bit warmer probably 220 222 something like that 225 uh, we hit like 235 pulling ron's truck back pulling mont eagle in tennessee so this is a way bigger load than that oh yeah it's blowing i can feel the air oh i love that we might actually be able to run the sleeves off of it and not have it overheat at all we're gonna go ahead and put a ficum tune in it which one do you want to get i wanted to put an atlas 40 because that complements every tune that we can put so i'll put an atlas 40 in this right now when you have a tuner like that you can take it out and put it back in and change it and put whatever this had a hundred tunes on it when i bought it let's go ahead and do the atlas 40 i used to tell people all the time it's the fastest 150 dollars you'll spend five and up atlas 40 press enter <laughs> tell you three times let's do it you're spending money let's see how fast it takes one that's 50 bucks there's 50 bucks and then we got one more fifty dollars four hundred dollars down there it goes 50 125 150 dollars there you go now you got a php tune fick them now it blocks it program's complete there you go well it started that's a bonus all right let's get the heck out of here we are back at the big top of the hill that we uh turn around at, turn around at last 206 i kind of hammered it i mean i've caught myself slowing down talking to julie and then i grabbed the gear and to the road 208? Yep. 208. Do I hear the fan? 210. Well, we're already at the top of the hill, so I guess the fan is obviously doing something. That's probably a stock fan clutch that we put on, so it's not going to hit anything until it gets to freaking 218. So. It's 206. This truck is handling this double stacker very well. It's 199. 199. It's just chilling. It's happy. Big freaking trailer. We can fit two of these trucks inside of that trailer. It's <laughs> crazy. Made it to a fuel stop, 100 miles, 110 miles, and all is well. We're about to shut her down. She is 192 degrees. 190 and 194. That's great. That's wonderful. We just kind of worked the holy crap out of it. This freaking, you want to see it? I mean, it's like. Fenders do not work. I did not finish them. I've been messing with Ron's truck. I haven't had time to go back and revisit it. So it threw stuff all over. It is way too high. It's extremely too high. FedEx guy just was very interested in the trailer and the truck. So what are you doing? You hauling a sprint car, hot shot car in there? I said, no, no, I'm not. I'm just hauling my own crap around. This is what the inside of the double stacker looks like. Got a full size fridge. I got a 50 amp generator right down there that's electric and if you guys have 50 amp rv you can wire it up to run a 220 dryer off of it no sweat simple i spent a little bit of time working on it but all the crap is thrown in here moved all the oh that opened i know well it wasn't latched i was digging around in here looking for a member a screwdriver because we blew the uh heater control valve we got the little car in here oh the tv stayed that's good i was really hoping can you imagine the damage, the TV? That's a 70 inch TV falling on the top of that car <laughs> going down the road. Uh, we'd lose the TV also. I'm sure we would lose the TV for sure. Take a quick screenshot of it because I need to get a picture of how I'm gonna change that uh, pitch because I think I'm gonna remove the B&W and go straight to Gooseneck to drop it back down lower to the ground. And then just this gooseneck, this will run the goose. I have the hit, the gooseneck, and I can go gooseneck. I think I have it in the trailer right now, so I could change it right now, but I don't have the ball with me. Don has one at the shop and it's brand new, never been used the entire kit with the chain hooks and everything in the bag, collector's item type of thing. And he said, yeah, just go ahead and use that if you want. I was like, yeah, no, no, I'll haul it like this. And then, cause I've got the ball behind the seat in a walmart bag uh all used and all beat to hell i'll use that ball on here and then put the gooseneck in and i hope it makes the height better am i freaking out to no i'm not freaking out too much i hate it 
I absolutely hate it. I don't like it. It's not ideal at all. Keep going. Jesus. There you go. Yeah, it needs to go down. It needs to be down some. This ideally is going to be pulled by the Volvo. Duly going to be rolling this with the fifth wheel hooked to the back, the camper. All right, good. I got my screenshot. Let's roll. Got all the lights on for the Royals tonight. They're changing all that. They're talking about changing it. Because they ain't spent enough money on this crap. We made it. So it sounds alright. Can't you tell on video you can't smell coolant? <laughs>